Hey there folks, this is Zach Lovett, and I'm going to show you my new script, Explode Shape Layers. What this script does is it'll look at a shape layer that you have in After Effects, be it something converted from Illustrator or something you create here, and it'll separate every group or path element into its own layer, just for easier organization, and it just makes things easier for you, the user. So I just want to go through and show you how it's done, kind of some of the features of the tool, and why it's so awesome. So I'm going to start with my comp here of some nice, cool-looking gears. And you can see I've got an Illustrator layer. So I'm just going to right-click it and it creates shapes from vector layers, um, you know, standard in the later versions of After Effects. And it gives me a shape layer. My original layer is preserved but hidden. And with this shape layer here, it, within it, I've got eight different groups. Now, these groups represent each of my gear elements. So if we toggle these on and off, you can see what they are. Brilliant, you get the idea. Now, this is fine. You know, a lot of you could kind of stop at this step, but depending on what you're doing, you might want to be able to get more control. Because let's say I want this group two to be moved around, or I want to animate its position or its rotation. I've got to come, you know, four layers deep to get to the rotation to play with that. So if I got this key framed, fine. Then I want to keep from something else. I've got to unfold it, go to somewhere else, animate that, and with all these different keyframes in one layer, you can get lost pretty quickly. Plus, it's just, well, it's messy. You know, you can't really see what's going on. You lose a lot of the transparency. So I'm going to click this big explode button. And there we have it. I've got eight layers now. My original is preserved, but off. And if we just open up any of these layers, twirl down its contents, you can see each one only has one group. And this is just each of my shape groups from my original layer are now isolated into their own layer. So you can see here I've got my first little circle, here I've got my second, and so on. Cool. But the problem with this by default is that, well, I want this, uh, this little gear to rotate around its own axis. So if I just twirl down its own layer transform now, it's not going to do that. It's transforming around the center. By default, when you use this explode button, what it's doing behind the hood is, you know, it's going to duplicate the layer however many times and just isolate that certain element. But this means that its anchor point is going to remain centered wherever it was for the hole. So if I want to rotate this layer independently, I can't really do that. That's where this option comes in for center anchor points. So I'm just going to undo this a bunch of times, get back to where I am. And if I enable center anchor points and hit explode, same thing happens visually, except now you can see the anchor point for each object is at the center of that layer. Awesome. Some other features are, you know, as I said, this works by duplicating the layer out and then I send the elements. So if you've got animation on your main layer, be it rotation of everything, or animation on a specific group, in this case, this little gear here, And hell, I've even got some keyframes going, or some markers rather. When you explode it out, all of this gets preserved. So every single layer will still have its rotation. Just note that because I centered my anchor points, it'll rotate around its own anchors instead of around the main center. If you wanted that to be the other way around, you just uncheck the center anchor points, and now they'll all rotate around that main anchor. The last thing I want to show is if you have any filters or effects on your layer, so you know if you've got a fill or a stroke, or if you've got any sort of merge or these filters here, like Truist or Repeater, it could be that you want to preserve this when you explode it out, but you've already applied it to your layer. So you know you've got your fill going. This here, you've got your twist on it, but you want these to trickle down to your new eight layers. It will handle that by default. When it goes through and isolates your layer, it keeps or rather, it looks for any of these filter type effects and keeps them there. So I'm just going to hit explode now. And each of my layers, if we twirl it down, has its own group. That is this one gear shape and the fill and the twist. So in this way, you can keep all of your effects and still be able to edit them individually, independently, and preserve your base, you know, aesthetic, whatever you built at the front. So... That's Explode Shape Layers. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for listening.